<clears throat> okay, y'all. Here's what's going on today on YouTube. Let's move this out here. Can you look at what I did right here? I've added a desk to put all my technology stuff, so. Why don't we head well and get started? <clears throat> so, right here, I got my compact Presario laptop hooked up to this Acer X193W monitor. And they're both in extension mode. And basically what extension mode is, I will show you. So, hang on. So, say I wanted to view something on this monitor. For instance, I'll just open, I guess, Skype. Let's get what I did. Okay, say I did not want to view it on here. Just drag that. There you go. Hang on, let me focus. Okay, it's not focusing. Okay. So, now since it's not on the screen, I can view it on the screen. So, we're going to go ahead we're going to exit out of that. So... I'm actually gonna have three have my computer right there. Got that and I got uh, maybe you can see that. Let me put you right here so you can see what I'm doing. And I got the Chromecast. So, <clears throat> I'm going to have three. But, whatever is displaying on here will be displayed on the Chromecast. Um, I really like the Chromecast. You guys should get it. Or Roku or the Amazon Fire TV stick. Don't get any of the set-top boxes because... Cheap and you know, I'm gonna do a Chromecast boot up. Plug this in. Is that can HDMI too? are gone. Okay, let's do it up now. Walk in successfully and here we go. So, here's the Chromecast booted up. Forgot to mention that, but who cares? There you have it. It's gonna load the information. Time, temperature, and whatever. My Chromecast, that's my name. And, here's the Chromecast. Plugged it into the router. So, let's just go ahead. And I got this table from back here. And then I bought it out here because, you know, I wanted some space to put my stuff. So, 
the laptop right here in the middle. I have some space to do some unboxing videos or whatever. Or reviews. I'm gonna go get a review on this later, actually. So, I have a monitor there to view stuff separately. And the Chromecast that is on the 32-inch Magnavox TV. I also... I also have one, two, three, four, five speakers and a subwoofer. Now, they all came with this. Okay. It's dark now, so... Let's go back over there. Came with the Sylvania DVD player I got two years ago, but that's okay. So, I also have a power strip that is hooked up to the wall. So, I have everything plugged in. I have my laptop. I got the monitor plugged in. I got the... Um, charging station for the Xbox 360 controllers and I got the speaker right here those speaker fans this is a boot up Whoops. so you can see the blue LED light for when it's on turn it off now this is a compact reser you guys already know that actually so I reviewed it in my well I didn't review Let's go take a look at the components in here. And here's what it's connected to the computer. So, yeah. You got the connection that goes out, so mostly output, and the speaker inputs. So you got rear left, front left, front right, center, rear right. This is also a charging station for the Wii right there. My right at medium alarm clock now. Let's go take a look at this. So, I was inspired to put this desk here, like I said, for personal videos and stuff. I had my laptop right here basically because I wanted it there. I got the keyboard hooked up to this computer to control this monitor right here so yeah it works fine but what happens when I press the number lock button it's right there scroll lock turns on and I also have the speakers that are connected to here the 3.5 mm microphone the Garmin Ant USB which is basically my Fitbit it's 927. Got it set up when I came back from New York, which was back in January. I have the mouse here, just connected via USB to control this monitor as well. And the VGA, so uh, I actually see what's on the monitor there. So, and you have your charger. Now, this computer works right, but let's go over here. This monitor, I really like. It's nice high res. I wish I did have DVI. And whatever. And basically what I'm going to do is this red, cam red camera right here. Uh, Samsung... It's a Samsung S760 camera. It's okay camera. I'm going to use it to record some videos, edit it on here. Now, there's one feature that is not listed in this computer, and that is an SD card slot. That's why I fixed this. So, I'm going to have to unplug one of these. Let's get in there. Now, 
Uh-uh. Let's go on to here. The laptop. I'll get to the speakers in a moment. I'll get to the monitor in a moment. I'll get to this, so... The laptop itself, it's running Windows 7. It doesn't have enough memory left. It, I've used already 113 gigs. It has 144 left. So, that's like how many gigs? 113. That's 257 gigs. And <clears throat> I'm going to have to replace a hard drive on it soon. So, this is running Windows 7 Professional, of course, and my cousin gave it to me. It works fine. I installed some apps, such as Virtual DJ. I did not install that, but that is actually for my phone. So, Windows Movie Maker, Skype, AirDroid, that's pretty much it. Oh, and OneNote, no. Just and one out. My apologies. And so yeah, that's good. Got a nice quality feel keyboard to it. Same trackpad mostly as the um HP Pavilion D V two thousand, which is upstairs. So well, yeah. I figured why not? And let's go on to the um, USB keyboard and mouse and the monitor right here. So this is basically an iHome keyboard. I do not know how to get it open back here with a Logitech mouse. So like I said, it's for use with this monitor. So because I have that, it's very sucky to like use this because you don't know what you're doing. So that's why I have this, or I have the Chromecast. So it is 9:31 and 9:32 already. Wow. Here's the Xbox. <clears throat> I'll get to that crap in a moment. <laughs> so, like I said, it's got a good quality feel. I didn't find the mouse trackpad, but I'm using this. So, like I said. When you have a monitor hooked up to a laptop, make sure it's in dual mode because it'll make your life heck of a lot easier to view two screens at one time. Or three. Because one, two, three. <laughs> so, yeah. But the only thing is the Chromecast will basically something for a short period of time I wish that I had I wish I had the full version but I don't just have the beta and let's go on to the speakers I'll just play you sound so we're gonna go have to turn it on there it's on basically I think this is the subwoofer itself, it's 150 watts. That's good. Okay. I did change the sounds on here, so. They used to be Windows default, but I changed them to characters. So, yeah. Same thing for here. Yeah, let's turn that off. And I have two more plugs right there, so we'll get... Okay, now on to the Chromecast. It's coming down. Nobody? Okay, um... Chromecast good idea to cast Google Chrome onto it. Now, <clears throat> the Chromecast is running 
Chrome OS, which is a Chrome operating system, it's something like Android, but not really. Finding a new version of Chrome OS, it is Android as well because it's mostly powered by an Android device. So, yep. And I will show that to you on my phone when we get them. My phone's on my bed right there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's go ahead. So, laptop, monitor, TV, there's the Xbox. I can use that as well, but no. The router. The router is laying on it. Ledge here. Because every time I put it there, where the house phone is, it'll fall over. So I put it on there keep it nice and tidy. I have a Linksys, but that's for replacement time. I'm not going to need that. Okay, back. This router works great, but, but nothing. So, I don't know if you can see that. So there's the WSP port, there's the Xbox, and there's Chromecast plugged in via USB. And I'm not happy about this router right here. It's an Xfinity router. Works okay, but it only give Wi-Fi to this one. And this one doesn't even give internet out at all. It just only powers the house phone, WSP to this router, cable which is in the laundry room, right there, and, yep, and basically it will get to the Chromecast, uh, I have my good LG Optimus L90. You guys cannot see because the lights, they're extremely bright. Okay. I'm going to actually uninstall this app. You guys can download. I just, I just don't want to. God dang it. <laughs> you guys just heard that that's my phone recycling something. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. There you go, Chris's Chromecast is ready to cast. Now, if you go to menu, there's something odd that I never knew about this cast screen. Cast screen is when you can cast your phone screen or tablet screen running 4.4.2 or higher to the Chromecast. It's a beta, so I'll just go ahead and launch it. There you go. Flip it. So basically, the phone screen is on the TV. We're going to go ahead and disconnect. So, you can do a lot with the Chromecast. But the only thing is that it uses a mobile device to control any content. The Xbox, pretty high-end device. I moved it down here because I had it on the table once right here. No do a good job on the table. So I put it down there where it could reach. I actually want to plug it back in. I'm using a three-prong thing to power it. So, there you go, it's plugged in. No, it's not actually. Now it is. So, I got three controllers. You guys can see that. I got three. Two down there. I think one is in the back of the TV. I don't know, but we'll have to see. No, it's actually right there. The Xbox 360, it's okay. It's going to be a little worn out because the Xbox One 
came out 2014. Now, um, I'm almost out of storage because we downloaded a crap load of games. I'm gonna try and buy a new hard drive for it soon. I don't know when though. I have to see. So. Here's my Garmin. I haven't put new maps on it yet. Here's my gift card. I'm covering up the number so none of you guys can jack this. Okay, that's a video of the complete setup. I'll do a review of this actually right now, I guess. So, it's a red camera. Um, I did put new batteries in it. Not only that, I put a 16 gig SD card in here. Put that back in if I can. Okay, so there you guys have it. It's a complete setup of everything, and just ignore this. Basically, like I said, it's just a charging base. does not work. There you go. He just charges the Wii remotes. Hey everybody. That's it. Thank you and have a good night.